Man, I never even thought to question whether or not Thomas J. Henry was alive. That's some next level, like, conspiracy. That's some Alex Jones shit. Well, it's just because he's never moving in his commercials. Yes. It's always pictures. Oh, you seen him on TV. Because when you were saying that, I was like, uh, uh, sweetheart, it's a billboard. Of course he's not going to move. <laughs> no, and they, they pan and scan. They pan and scan his pictures, too, in the commercials. Yeah. No, it's always like, it's like. They're a. They're very, very serious. No, these are not the commercials I've seen, Bryce. Uh, okay, <laughs> show, those are show, him. Show those are him moving. Just no, the it. ones I've seen. All right, so I'm not saying that that, that others don't exist. I'm not saying that that he's only doing it. But yes, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. So they're. Yeah. It's always like a. They're very serious and they're very Them picture. Eyes. Did you see those they, eyes? They actually look like they're mug shots, and he's accused of these crimes. <laughs> Product yeah. liability, thirty million dollars <laughs> again. This guy, uh, twenty-five Day. million dollars premises liability, what? What? wrongful death. He's killed people in these ah. in these five cities. Pay us this <laughs> money, or he will kill Your again. Next. Anyway, yeah. So I've only seen commercials with him being in still frame, and I'm like, <laughs> it would not be shocking if he were dead. And and everyone knew it in Austin, and I didn't. And people are holding it from me because I'm one of these dipshits that bought a home from California. Well, and uh, uh, I don't think we're talking out of school, but like, it's it's. Oh, I guess he's moving there. Yeah, yeah. the walk for this one. But that's CGI, man. You can do that shit. Yeah. In AI. Yeah, I, 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 I seen that shit with Grand Moff Tarkin. Get out yeah, of here. That's. Uh, <laughs> What about your grandma? Yeah. He did that with Princess Leia. Yeah, peace. She looked right into the, into the camera and said, 25 million in a wrongful death. Wink. <laughs> You're next. Uh, what, Hi, Brett. What just happened there? I, I kind of like the idea of just starting a bunch of conspiracy theories about like prove you're alive <laughs> in like just locally to austin yeah it's like proof prove of life you're alive well it'd be like and then somebody tweets like i i it's me and then you're like oh is it is it so at uh uh i just realized i'm I just said those words to the one audience that would actually do that to the one person who I don't want it done to. <laughs> <laughs> so at at a uh, 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 Yankee Stadium, at every game, there is a group of fans in uh, this uh, one part of left field, I believe, called the Bleacher Creatures. Yes. Yep. And uh, every game at the beginning, they will chant every outfielder's name until they turn around and acknowledge. The, the, the bleacher creatures so what if it were just that with austin celebrities with our audience but we just keep saying you're dead unless you tell us or not <laughs> like leslie leslie oh no he he is dead <laughs> I, he, he did stand on me who's dead uh, oh the the famous yeah. person on sixth street yeah. yes gotcha yeah, yeah. yeah. sorry he wore a Hooter shirt. Yep. Oh. Yeah. That's about it. When he stood on top of me. It lifts and separates. Yep. A Hooter shirt. Where are we at on Hooters these days? It's uh, uh, delightfully tacky yet unrefined. That's what they want us to think. Yeah. Wait, are we... Where, where, where are we at on a, on a dialogue on restaurants? I have no idea. That's that's what I was asking. I, I see it like thoughts? dinner theater. The theater's not that good, and the dinner's not that good either. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Get fried pickles. Twin, Twin, Twin Peaks. Peaks. Shouts out to Twin Peaks. I've I've been slightly to, more I, subtle. I, I, I have been to <laughs> slightly. <laughs> <laughs> they wear shirts like yours right there. No, at least Twin Peaks has a a uh, uh, like. Hooters is like wings, titties, right? Where Twin Peaks also tries to sell the idea that their beer is very cold. Uh, uh, and I, I know this because in my childhood uh, uh, shopping center, where I got my first job at a pizza place, not but a few yards away, they put in a Twin Peaks. And so whenever I go back home and my friends many of whom are now rapidly growing out of being, you know, 20 and 30 something meatheads. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they would always go to Twin Peaks. So I would, I would, I, I've spent many of day at Twin Peaks and they're 
zero degree beer or or whatever whatever their 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 gimmick is. They That's have frightening. very cold beer, yeah. which is something for which I I like understand on some level that it's like oh you want cold beer but i've never been to an a bar and been like this beer is too warm oh no 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 uh, uh, the the joke is and as a matter of fact we went to a place uh, uh when we were visiting andrew uh up in the uh, north northern california where there was a local brewed beer called cold is a flavor and i knew to instantly look at the alcohol by volume and it was like 2.8 Oh, uh, that's the whole reason that Coors sold cold as a flavor is because it's uh, it's like Three. making love in a canoe. Yeah, sure. It's fucking close to water. Gotcha. Yeah. Also, that's not Twin Peaks's thing. <laughs> They're uh, literally just trying to tell you that our beer is physically cold. And also... That's an excuse for you to just look at titties. 29 degree beer. Nothing sets us apart more than our signature 29 degree draft beer. Served in perfectly frosted mugs. Beer at 29 degrees. 29 (laughs) degree beer. 29 beer. Also, when you're thinking about something that cold, certainly don't also think of what that does to titties. Yep. Makes. Oh. 29 beer. Turkey's ready. I I was thinking about what it does to my Johnson. What does it do to you, Johnson? Makes it small. Shrink. Okay. Yeah. Shrinky dinks. Yeah. But it's cold. My Johnson <laughs> becomes small. What? <laughs> yeah. Comes in any. I, I, I didn't know there was. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you took it to another level. That's, yeah. that's a lot. You took it to another level. We were just talking about a smaller penis. Sure. You went to an entirely, not sure. even an invisible penis. Yeah. Worse. A crater of a penis. I'm introducing the reverse circumcision. <laughs> Are you circumcised? Would you like to experience no, a reverse, nothing? A reverse circumcision would be having a lot of skin. Yeah. No. Uh, it would you be get your dick getting skin. so small that the skin would fold around it, and it would. would uh, oh, you would become an physical, anteater. You yeah, actually, you actually had, you actually yeah. had a a a more defined idea of it than I did. <laughs> I was thinking of the penis as one unit. You were thinking of the penis and the skin as two different units. You have a very, very uh, 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 elaborate and exciting <laughs> imagination. <laughs> <laughs> have you thought about going into a career as a novelist? Uh, wow. You, uh, Brian is getting his restaurant outfit ready. Yep. Wow. Hey, do you have any cold beer? Yeah. Uh, the coldest. Uh, actually, that, that doesn't look bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. I'd buy it. Uh, do we have titles? I got, yeah. Or you awards? Have I have one award. Yep. I have one award, and there's the music. The best story pitch during the writer's strike goes to Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Ooh. We're going to keep that to scads. ourselves. No, we're just we're just thinking. Okay. We're you didn't write in. anything down. No, no. we're pitching. Okay. We're pitching you back don't and pitch. forth. It was, it was an improv no, bit. We're, 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 we're a writing team. Just get team. ready. Just get it ready. It was an improv You're telling me you're, you're, yeah, by the way, yeah, yeah, you're telling me that Philip and Lord are not like going back and forth thinking of ideas right now? Of course they are. They're not going to write it. Nope. They're not scabs. It's, it's all up here. Yeah. No, everybody stops thinking during the strike. Yep. Especially people who well, are. Well, no, also, in... yo, you can write things. You just can't write things for payment from other people. Okay. Yeah, that's the idea. Uh, Brian, what's uh, what's happening in your hand? There? Oh, I, uh, 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 I'm checking my calendar. Mm. Oh, what's... wait a minute. Hold on. Payment at Warner Brothers. What? <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> I right. told them they needed to take Baby Billy by Bible Bonkers. <laughs> That'd be so amazing if there was just one email address, but like that's the secret to Hollywood. Yes. Is it, you just Hollywood. say like, uh, 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 cheerleader becomes none. <laughs> <laughs> Payment at Warner Brothers and immediately $100,000 hits yeah. your bank Hollywood at yahoo.com. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at some show titles uh, yes. suggested by the chat here in the live stream. We're going to go to nightattack.showbot.tv. Let's see what they got here. Low T childless cuck. Low T yeah. childless cuck. I'm going to get that on my on my belly like Tupac. Both of us will. <laughs> I'll get the mirror image on yeah. mine. There we go. Doing the ho-hos. A yeah. bomb yep. went off twice sure. that day. 
Santa in the dog pound. <laughs> Bob went off twice. Wait, what was that one? That's the dude farting <laughs> while farting the A-bomb is going off. <laughs> nice. We got New Testament Santa. <laughs> oh boy, we definitely I mean, went into the weeds on that the one. Shit out of yeah, that. <laughs> that's good. I'd like that for that to be the whole show. Popeye Ark. <laughs> yeah, Popeye Ark. <laughs> I, I am like that's fucked up. It was fucked up, but it was too good because we had set up all the Popeye shit, and then you did a legit. No, that was all right. No, I just want to say for uh, everybody here and do you, my friend, it is fucked up to make fun of just involuntary noises, but Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> My name is uh, uh, Dougie Klaus. What was it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. It, uh, 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 El Elmer Close no. or whatever. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't remember. Somebody in the chat. Figure it out. Yeah. <sighs> what was his name? Uh, some other ones here. Hail Hydrocarbon. Egger. Yeah. <laughs> Egger Klaus. Egger Klaus. Egger. That's right. Egger, Egger. Yeah. Egger Klaus. What a dumb name. <laughs> yeah. He was in an Egger suit. <laughs> <laughs> All skin and bones. Um, so we got Santa's Dead. We got The Blocks of Row. Son of Santa. Son of That's Santa's pretty good. not bad. The Best Oppenheimer Review. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether or not, yeah, that was about me describing Oppenheimer or Brian describing that kid's fart. Yeah. Ranked teenage fart. Ranked teenage fart. But, but, but we, we did come to an agreement that, like, that was straight up Oscar bait across the board. Like, uh, uh, can, can we spoil the Kennedy line for anybody who's still around at this <laughs> well, point? Well, what are you doing? I haven't seen it great. yet. Good uh, job. Thank man. you. Okay. I just knew there was a bomb involved. Come on. No, I mean no. The only reason why it's 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 no. Watch watch the movie. Watch, watch the, the movie. It's been there, out there for is, four no, days. Like, like for for Nolan, there is one convention that does not make sense when you start watching it. That makes sense at the end. At at the or end. Or in the middle. Yes, and, and it becomes very clear. It is not like Nolan where you're like, do I have to read a Wikipedia about why right. this happened? It is like. From the 90s, we're doing a weird thing at the beginning, and then you realize why we did it at the end kind of convention. Bet you're wondering how we got here. I... Oh, it's so <laughs> close. <laughs> yep, that's me. Uh, I, I would just say, a lot of Florence Pugh. <laughs> like, it is, it is a shockingly commercial version of a very serious and weighty historical thing yeah. like, that's like kind of the thing i love about it is that there's a lot of like hot rod and fast and the furious like we're doing a hollywood version of this kind of shit to what is like an extraordinarily serious and weighty question of is the power of america too powerful like that's kind of the underlying element of the entire story and yet it's like like say the line bart while you're fucking florence pew and yeah. your titties are out and you're reading sanskrit and you're like i'm that much america <laughs> ah! Did, and i, I kind of love it i mean at least that was the only time it's not like 30 minutes later they spent 10 minutes climbing up a mountain and they're like, here we are in New Mexico, in my favorite place. Anyone? Hey, and then they're like, well, well, where are we? This is Los Alamos. <laughs> yes. Oh, echo, no. echo, big oh, fade out. No. Yeah. It's, it's that again and again and again sure. and again. There's but a also, reason I hated it. But also, like, for folks that who have no idea what right. that story is, that's the moment. Well, I mean, especially if they're watching the double feature of that and Barbie. I'm sure they watch Barbie first and they're like, what is this? What is this? Can I just oh, tell you how we're gonna fucking, get into? Can, can I just tell you how fucking excited I am that we spent 30 minutes talking about Oppenheimer and not Barbie? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did you saw both? I did. Yeah. Same day. Cool. Moving on. All right. Saw so both of them. No, look. Here's what I'll say about Barbie. Oh, here he goes. I here he goes. Don't get me started. Number I, one, because he can't one, stop. I'm going to recognize and put out into the world. I am not the target audience. No. I am not the target audience for freeze frames of actual clothing and outfits that 
the uh, that Barbie wore. Uh, uh, I am not the target audience for uh, certain elements of it. I think that it was extraordinarily funny at times, and it was a very bold choice for Greta Gerwig to make the first act Blazing Saddles. Like, that was odd. That does not seem to be in her strong suit, and I think everybody was extraordinarily well cast, but it, it's it's interesting that they decided to go that direction. Yeah, so. fuck you, Greta. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Greta. Yeah. Fuck Greta. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking at show titles. Oh, yeah. These are the top ones here. I do, I do, I do like New Testament Santa. Pretty good. I like that. Yeah. You want to do that? Let's do that. All right. Yeah. Get a scooper, Nova Girl, and everyone is it showed out as the biggest command in the trailer. <laughs> well, was that the remix? That no, was that no, like the remix. Leave it go. Leave it go. <laughs> leave it go. Uh, leave it go. Uh, Let him cook. Uh, Let uh, Bryce uh, cook. Uh, Let uh, Bryce uh, cook. <laughs> leave it. <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. Yo. You want to do uh, an outtake from the game? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How about the Albuquerque Isotopes? That's not a real. Yep, that's a real. Yep, it's a real team. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's real. Is that is that what the All Springfield J. reference? Robert Oppenheimer's running against <laughs> each other. <laughs> Four J. Robert Oppenheimer's, and you find out which one wins each you, uh, time. Each one is chasing after a different mistress. And they're all asking, who will tell the truth what about this moment? What happened to my commie brother? <laughs> yes. Uh, do you actually know this one? Yep. I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> you answer and then I'll answer. I think it is... Uh, I think it's the Fry Guys versus Grimace. Okay. Versus Mayor McCheese. Yeah. Yep. Versus. Number one more. Ronald is above it, so he wouldn't be there. Oh, yeah. They can't license that IP. Well, he would be the judge. He would be the one who kind of, you know, trips Grimace and then pretends like he didn't do it. You think he's mischievous? Who is the oh, sheriff? The clown prince of McDonald's. There was a sheriff, wasn't there? Nope. No, the really? Mayor McCheese. Mayor McCheese. Yeah, Mayor McCheese. It was, he, is, he is law and order. The oh. Hamburglar, obviously, you know, he is. Well, chaos. Uh, uh, chaos. Uh, maybe you're thinking of Officer Big Mac. Oh. There we go. I told you there was a fucking cop. There we go. I was in his fucking face once. He yeah. wasn't cool enough. Yeah. Yeah. According to you, pig. That's right. Thank you, Bryce. You're welcome. Uh, here's a uh, movie poster that Cheech made in the chat. Yeah. Page. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. I simply won't be fooled. Yeah. Oh. A Bab. Uh, I'd like to say, by the way, all big man. Uh, Justin, you're full of shit. Okay. Oh no, uh, because I think it's aliens that are running around. Mm -hmm. Oh, like uh, yeah, uh, like all like. uh, gray gray boys. Yep, grays and greens. Gray boys. Gray boys. They call them gray boys. They call them gray boys. <laughs> Uh, gray boy, all oh, star. Yeah, hey, you gray boy. We hey. used to grind you up and put you on our Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. We called your gravy back in the day. Gray boy. Listen up, your gray boy. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you go back to the planet you came from? Uh huh. Instead of dressing my bird, see what happens <laughs> in my town. You made him gravy. Don't look at me weird. <laughs> I, I, I I'm trying to yes and like, your what, shit. No, like at some point it became like genuine creepy. I'm like, who are we offending? Like who here is I from Mars? I don't know. I thought we were just going with it. And then you fucking looked at, you looked away like I had just I, called Italians guineas. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, How dare you? Yeah, that, that's not. Uh, this is what's gonna actually. By the way, by the, the way, not f not fooled <laughs> by that by that fucking TikTok channel. Yeah. No. All right. That's right. No. Uh, okay, the Albuquerque ice. They Isotopes. couldn't fool you because Italians aren't smart. <laughs> <laughs> He's doubling down. <laughs> Oh, don't choose that word. <laughs> Holy ass could talk about Dublin. <laughs> nice. I got close to Miss Cleo. I don't know. Yeah. 
Colmena! What's up, morning to you? <laughs> Call me with anything but your troubles. <laughs> Right. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the Blarney Stone to you. Call me now. I have your future. We already had our own troubles. <laughs> it's a me, Mora. <laughs> All right, the, the uh, Albuquerque Isotopes. Well, let's take a look here. They have the taco and chili ray. Sure. Oh, they do do the green chilies in uh, in, yeah. in the Albuquerque. That, that that is a big fucking deal there. Yeah, delicious. The hatch chilies. Hatch chilies. Uh, apparently, they also have a jar of salsa sometimes. Damn. And it's mild. That shit's mild. Boo. Boo. You suck. Right, I've, huh? I've I've heard that all chilies are the same, or, or all bell peppers are the same creature. It's just a matter of when you pluck them. Oh, oh really? Sense. Yeah. Uh, red, green, yellow. Uh, they're all the same animal. It's but just it a matter just, of time. Yeah. How, how yeah. hot it is when you pick it. Yeah. For bells? Right. There's varietals, though. Some go red, some stay green. Some go yellow. It all depends. Some on are kill a, kill a fellow. I don't know. It sounds like I'm, <laughs> I'm starting a rap. I don't know. I'm telling you, it's all about I, the pepper. I convinced, I the convinced pepper. <laughs> It's all about the pepper. Yeah. Uh, I convinced Chat GPT to start like writing scenes with rap battles and then it couldn't stop rhyming. Find <laughs> find someone in your life that loves you like Brian loves making Chat GPT write <laughs> rap battles. <laughs> that is a like a, a classic bit on on it's on true. the level of somebody farting that except Brian hated that he hates enough. farting but like you fucking love finding a reason to have ChatGPT write a rap well especially because it uh, it allows you to do other things that it wouldn't otherwise do like it will flat out refuse to do certain things and you're like okay what if it's a movie and there's a rap battle and you need to explain this and all of a sudden it's like okay <laughs> so in order to pick a lock you say yeah all you have to do is do this hey <laughs> yeah you need a tension wrench and then <laughs> pick oh uh-huh i mean hold on i need i, I need chat gpc oh no 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 no, 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 no. all right uh, uh, anything else? We wrapping it up? Yeah, uh, I think so. You want to do one more? Here, let's do one more. One more. Here okay. we go. How about the, finish. The Nashville sounds. Uh, 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 you got all the country greats. The one with the guitar. The lady with the voice. The other one that did something fucked up that no one talks about. That's and a lot then of those. Garth Brooks. They all race against each other every night for the Nashville sounds. Bud Light. <laughs> just one. I think it's just musical instruments. No way. Guitar and two, a drum. two on the nose. Everything else has been crazy. I, I, I'd be more inclined to say different versions of Hot Chicken. Mm. Mm. No, too hipster. Yeah. Bryce, what is it? Let's take a look here. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. We got Johnny Cash, George Jones, Reba McIntyre, and Dolly Parton. So I almost perfectly got it. Yeah. So uh, how, how do you navigate? Like, like, do they always tie? Is that is that how this goes? No, oh, someone wins. wins every night. Yeah. How, how, how else do you think you get the crowd going? Yeah. Whatever the, the crowd cares about. Who who wins this time? Uh, it, it's that exact question that makes it a captivating thing that happens in the <laughs> middle of a minor league baseball game. Yeah. It looks like it might have been Reba. I think Reba. What city, if they were going to do this with uh, gaming consoles, what city would that take place in? Seattle. Seattle. Eh, yeah, it seems like. Yeah. yeah. Or Tokyo. Well, I mean, eh, I guess yeah. they, they love baseball. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although they do wild shit out there. Like, like they actually have like big professional wrestling entrances, for, like for their actual baseball players in the middle of the game. Well, but they also have mascots for everything. So yeah, yeah. They have mascots for their mascots. All right, shut it down. They do. Right. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here on a great night. We'll have some bones for you on Thursday. We'll have um, another show for you on Tuesday. More stuff coming up later this week. Marbles on Thursday. Watch all the podcasts, stream all the shows. Love you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> I'm the son of Santa, and I'm here to say...